hey guys welcome to the video and today's video is going to be very short and sweet um, I'm simply going to be showing you guys how I go about collecting wood that I use in my enclosures for my reptiles it's a very simple and easy process basically you go out you get you some really cool and unique pieces you take it home and you can use there's three popular methods to sterilize it so you can boil the wood if it's small enough and if it's small enough you can also throw it in your oven but if you have really big pieces like I do here the best way to go is to soak it in a dilute bleach solution as you will see me do in the video if you do use bleach keep in mind that is an, a very strong chemical and you want to try to leach all of that bleach out and also if you let it dry in the Sun that'll kind of be like du double duty to letting some of that bleach um, evaporate from the wood so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe if you want to see the enclosure that I end up putting some of these pieces in. Alright guys, so our wood has been sitting now for 18 hours. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it so that the exposed parts are in our bleach solution and um, we can get all, everything submerged evenly. guys so we flipped it over you can see how the part that was in the solution is a little bit lighter now we're gonna let this sit for a while and come back and do the next step so this is the bark that was on there and now that it's kind of been submerged it comes off fairly easy kind of pick at it with our hands and you know as we continue to process it we should be able to get a majority if not all of the bark off all right guys so now our branches have been seeping in the bleach solution for 24 hours so originally we did 18 hours on one side and then we flipped it into 24 hours on this side so now um, in order to leach out the bleach I'm just going to soak it in some regular water and then change the water periodically to allow the bleach to seep out of the wood as best as possible one thing I do want to point out is look at the difference in colors between this side of the branch and this side so this was the side that we originally soaked and I think that it came out lighter than the other half because that's when the bleach was fresh and so it was at, it was freshly activated and so I think the bleach was stronger in the first solution like and then after we allowed it to sit and then we flipped the branch over and soaked this side I just think that um, maybe the concentration wasn't as high or I don't really know but anyway so that's just something to point out so maybe if you want an even coloration then you might have to when you flip the branch redo the solution uh, make a fresh batch of uh, bleach water Alright guys, so our wood has been soaking now for 24 hours, <laughs> so now it's time to flip it so we can leach the bleach on the other side and then we're going to let it air dry. One of the things I decided to do was go ahead and take off out this half log 
um, I feel like it's gonna take the longest to air dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out. It has been fully submerged this entire time um, since I don't have, a, have to flip it and everything. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna let it air dry. I'm gonna let it air dry on this side first um, and then flip it. I've had my wood sitting out in the sun for at least probably about two weeks now. Um, so they are dry to the touch. Um, they're most likely dry in, in the inside as well. I've already used one of these, uh, two of the pieces to put in my enclosures for my enclosure reel, um, which should already, which will be actually, which will be coming out soon on the channel. Um, you can see this is actually a piece. So the difference between um, this wood and this wood here. So this wood was actually collected from a forested area. It was um, in a brush pile. And it was actually just, just used to be, um, what is it? It, it? it used to be a vine. I want to say muscadine grapevine or something. But anyway, so that used to be a vine. And the difference between this, that wood, and this type of wood is this wood was actually collected out of a water body. So this was more so driftwood. Um, so it was in the body of water for an extended amount of time, which allowed all of the bark to come off of it. And then I collected it and I sterilized it um, in the same way. I believe that it was originally a part of like a trunk to some type of tree or something. Um, I collected this wood out of Pennsylvania and then this wood out of uh, Florida. So this wood is really cool. Can't wait to put that back in, a, in an enclosure. Um, so anyway. All right, guys. So that pretty much wraps up the video on how to collect your own wood. Here's the thing. If you're looking for convenience, then yes, absolutely go out and purchase your wood, you know, at the expos or in the pet stores. Go out and do that. But if you have a little bit more time, you're not in a rush and you want to go find some really cool, unique pieces, I say go out there and look for it yourself. It's very affordable. I mean, wood at that point would be free. And then anything that you might be doing to sterilize it would be very affordable. Um, so I like the idea of going out to collect, but I have also purchased. So it really just depends on what you're looking for and if you're willing to spend money or not. So um, that pretty much wraps up this video. I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time. Peace.